What's up, y'all? Cause with Midnight Lights Gaming, bringing you my next goal guide, which I'm gonna try a little different. I'm gonna do this streaming. So this is landslide. Got to get 9,000 points in the sanctuary. I'm gonna, as I go through it and I try it, I'm gonna go through all the tips. Hopefully, I get it pretty early on. But I'll, if I have to cut some stuff out, I'll cut some stuff out. Really glad you're here. I'm on my way to 1,000 subscribers. Working very hard to get videos out as often as possible as I work towards um, hopefully one day being able to make even a little bit of money from these videos, which I love making with and for y'all, um, because half of anything I ever make will go to a charity we choose as a subscriber community. I'm gonna upload receipts, it's no BS, no gimmicks, I'm not trying to pull something on anyone. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna like be very transparent if and when I ever make any money. So definitely like and subscribe and keep watching the videos. Maybe we can make this YouTube machine work for us and, and make a materially better, good difference in people's lives. And let me give you some channel updates. Number one, ton of Forspoken content out. I played the crap out of the demo because I really wanted to get a sense if I wanted to buy this game and invest time in it because I, at the time when I was getting hyped around Forspoken, I was like, there aren't gonna be a lot of more games coming out. But then of course we had the gaming awards. Um, I, I didn't really have Hogwarts Legacy on my radar because I'm just not a big Harry Potter person. Um, and then Jedi Survivor coming out in March. You know, it's going to be an intense few months. So I'm trying to get all these Sifu goal guides out. So that's what I'm working on right now. A lot of Forspoken content, which is pretty much done. Trying to get all these Sifu goals out there. And then as soon as, and I'm going to do some like preemptive videos for Jedi Survivor and Hogwarts Legacy. So just keep an eye out for all of that. And that's pretty much it. So again, this goal is landslide. Let's look at it. Every one of these level, every level has a points based goal. And oh, and don't forget about Sifu Arenas, which is going to be more combat situations and expanding levels, it seems like. I have a video. I'll try and drop it in the show notes and, and put something up if I remember. But um, I'm real excited about that, too. And I'm, it's, I'm flaking now. That might be February as well. So, of course, I'll be... That's, that's going to take priority of everything. It's like one of my favorite games. Let's go ahead. So every level has a points-based goal... I think this is the lowest one. That's 13, that's 17, 5, 22. The club was tough, y'all. You you probably know too. Getting the high score on that was tough, but um, I'll go over some tips. But master difficulty does help. Of course, it's more trying. Yeah, damn. This is the lowest point total you need, which makes sense. There just aren't, there are hard fighters in this, but not a ton of fighters, unlike the club, which is like a ton of not very hard fighters, but like really a ton of them. So, and for each level, you get a certain amount of points for three different thresholds. You get a certain amount of currency, which are those numbers on the right, for each points threshold. So, like, when, if you, got, when you get 9,000, at that point, you'll have 500 of these currency things. And you can use those to buy cheats and modifiers. You also can see that this isn't any difficulty. I would really recommend you do this in master difficulty because, my friend, um, it seems to me in master difficulty that not only do the fighters have more hit points, it just seems like you get more points. I don't know. I haven't sat down and done the math. Maybe one day I will. I keep saying I will, and then I won't, uh, and then I don't. Um, but anyway, I would encourage you, if you feel like you can do it, you're up for the challenge. Do these points goals on master difficulty. It does seem to help. Some tips as we get into it. One is you want to vary up your moves. If y'all don't follow Jisoo on YouTube, you should. Jisoo is like all up on Sifu, doing some good God of War stuff too, but definitely an amazing Sifu YouTuber who was talking about how it seems like that if you do the same move over and over, it's not going to be good for you. It's diminishing returns. So... Be sure to mix up your moves, which can be hard. You know, the more you play this game, the more you're kind of like, this works pretty much every time I use it. Yeah, this is an advanced fighter. Yeah. I just dropped a video 
I just dropped a video that went over all of the different versions of fighters from their base level to their mini boss level with, with all the levels in between, just to kind of do some comparing and to also let you know like what secret sauce I use for each kind of fighter, flash kickers, juggernauts, bodyguards, etc. Some other things to keep in mind here. So your multiplier, when it's at times three in between combat scenarios, it'll stay at times three. I could spend an hour in here and it will, um, it won't change that I stay at a times three multiplier when I go into the next room. The other thing is the things that um, get your multiplier up are doing damage. That's related, which again is why master difficulty is important because you just get more hits in on a, on a tango, um, which every time you, you know, it doesn't sound right, but every time you touch a fighter, you're going to get some points. Or a hit, hit or kick, hit or kick a fighter. Anytime you hit or kick a fighter, you're going to get some points. So the more time, like if on master difficulty you get seven kicks in as opposed to disciple, you get six. That's good for you. Any other tips before I get into very things up? Yep, nope. Let's go into this room that's not easy. It's not hard. Oh, oh, the other thing is don't do takedowns when the ta the fighter has a lot of life left. Like right now, it would be a really big mistake to use a... Nobody puts baby in a quarter. Okay, not sure where everyone is, but I would... I'm going to use a takedown. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Use a focus bar. No, 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 no. Let's see. Oh, I've been listening to the Rap Caviar playlist on. Ooh, that was... Oh, shoot. That's not good. I shouldn't have used my... Oh, my God. I shouldn't have used my... I should have waited to use my focus. Mighty Calbit is another big tip, but I'm going to communicate more when I feel like I can. Damn it. This is not great, y'all. Right now, I'm pretty much just trying. Oh, shit. Oh, you gotta be sh Nope. That is a chump start. We are not doing that. We are going to start. But some rooms that it, it might be a little quiet, just FYI. Hopefully my tips are making sense. It's been a long day of making videos, so I'm a little all over the place. But I was saying I've been listening to the Rap Caviar playlist on Spotify. I have like three different songs stuck in my head right now. Alrighty, Roo, buddy. Welcome to the oh, thanks. I've been meaning to visit here. It looks really nice. Do you know anyone who's really good at stuff and kung fu that has traumatized me in my my youth? See, I would not want to take him down there. It's tempting, but I wouldn't want to do it. I wish I was watching. I I, I really want to know if a deflection or perfect parry gives you points. I don't even care. I don't even care if I'm using the same move. I just don't want 25 enemies staring me down. know it's cheaper to keep her that's one of the songs that's stuck in my head wow right after i do a mighty cow but i get hit that's classic thank you for being so predictable it's always the first punch it's always the first punch it's always the first punch i really need to get better I really need to get, like, sorry. 
at not getting hit. Yo! And not getting hit on the on a first kick. That wasn't terrible. I think in an ideal world we'd have a lot more points than that. But let's see. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping Master Difficulty carries me in this a little bit. Um, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's the currency. That's the same insignia as the currency that we were just looking at. Right? No, it's different. It's different. Slightly. Same motif, you might say? It's a little motif-y. These rooms are for a special. Eat it. All right, you watch the score multiplier and then you tell me in the comments if avoiding or deflecting it does seem to have an impact on the multiplier going up. I don't think it gives you any more points. Oh, it definitely... It definitely hit, brought my multiplier up. Ooh. Oh boy, that hurt a little, but I'm okay. Ooh, that was, that was nice. It's a lot of hits, too. I'm very glad that that little punch thing, not a lot of life left, that's why I used to take down. I'm very satisfied that that little like shove that he does to get me off of him doesn't um, bring down my multiplier. Why do I have this? I don't think I need this. These are both just, oh wow. Now I'm pretty sure one of these will oh damn it i i'm gonna try a takedown on him too but i should have waited i should have waited because one of these turns into might turn into fire rage mode let's see if it's this guy no nope. it's always a little bit of a gamble isn't it i also don't need this for out here but i might need it for after so cool so cool does this give me any points I don't really want to punch these these spectators, but there is something. Wow, I did that without even seeing her or them. You know it's cheaper to keep her. That felt pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I guess I'll bring this mop and I'll see if hurting these very nice people doesn't do anything. I'm just a bad person now. <sighs> Being a bad person doesn't help your multiplier. Okay, this room... Oh, I think we can sneak attack one of them. Oh yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Two flash kickers, one of my least favorite things. I don't know if we're gonna hit this point total though, y'all. Ooh! Ow. So obviously with flash kickers, it's uh, crotch punch while they're in the midst of their attack. It just, they just can't handle it. They just can't hack it. And uh, did I mention, I can't remember, I've had to record this a couple times. Um, I just dropped a video today where I went through <coughs> all of the different non-boss fighter archetypes. Gangster, Flash Kicker, Juggernaut, Bodyguard. And then each of those have sort of a base level, an advanced level, and a mini boss level, or most of them do. Bodyguard, I think, just has base and boss, or advanced and mini boss. Can't remember. 
But I went through like what their combos look like, what's the difference between them, because I really wanted to know that for myself and I just hadn't done it yet. So I streamed that earlier and then in doing so found out that regardless of the level of the archetype, whether it's base, advanced or mini boss, the thing they're vulnerable to doesn't change. So with a flash kicker, crotch punch is always gonna be effective mid when they're just starting their attack. So, I mean, I, it sort of dawned on me that there's no, there's a reason I hadn't really looked into that because there isn't such a big difference between the fighters, particularly their vulnerability, the level of archetype. So why do I need to study it? I'm not struggling with an advanced gangster way more than I am a, you know, a basic. Um, so I, I didn't really need to concern my, my feeling was I didn't really need to concern myself with it. Um, but it did feel like good information to have. Okay, I gotta focus. Forward, forward, square is magical with the staff. It truly, truly is. I mean, I, I, I don't mind. You know what this isn't doing though? It's really great in a in a fight like this because it, it allows you to oh it's always the first kick. God damn it. No. Bullshit. Bullshit all around. I'm frustrated with that. Gotta isolate better. But what I was wondering, did forward, forward, square not actually do get me any points? Because, oh no, it did. All right, I'm taking that takedown. You can eat this stick. I'll sweep you, get my times three. Punch you, kick you. Oh God. This bodyguard has my number. I think I'm gonna restart. No. Let's see it through the end. I'm in a corner. I'm not very focused. These are things that you should probably do better. But I'm not gonna take him down. I'm gonna milk him for all he's worth. I don't care for you. Oh, hello, knife. That maybe it would have been nice to use. I also should have been using this to help isolate. Um, I actually don't want that. You know, it's cheaper to keep her. Yep, here we go. Can I get, what, like 3,000 points? Just... Ah. Oh, flock of seagulls. Of Be careful, man. That down. Ooh. Big, big feller. I can't really just stab that bodyguard up there. This isn't going to be an easy fight. Oh, wipe the blood off. Shit. She's more ready than I am. What I might do is pick up this bamboo. Actually, no, I can't. I really can't because I need every point. I need every point right now. Oh, 
I gotta focus on the flash kicker. Or whoever comes at me first, but hopefully the flash kicker. It's always the first kick. Should have deflected that. No, dead. I think I'm going to get 9,000, but I'm going to be embarrassed because this was not a great run. I, w I really would have liked to do this without, without dying, but... Honestly, I haven't I haven't played in a minute. <laughs> but it's good. I mean, the other thing is it really it it matters if you die only in so far as like if you're dying a lot, your multiplier is not going to be great. <laughs> I probably should have saved that for the next for the next guy. Um, I'm definitely going to get 9000 points. But what was I saying? I forget. Let's get this guy and then we figure it out. <sighs> Excuse me. I just want to disarm him. I don't I don't want to deal with the staff. In fact, I'm going to So this is a Sean disciple, and that means that you're looking out for the three or four phase combo that ends ends with him doing a uh, you know, a, a really hard hit at the end, but you can deflect that hard hit. I mean, he's throwing this kick at me, and you, which you just need to avoid. Looks like you can deflect the first phase of that combo, too. 9,938. Not bad. I'll take it. And what, it only took two tries? So, I'm, I don't know. I'm not mad at it. Um... But hopefully that helps. I'm trying to think of any other, t you know, what I oh, what I was saying is if you die a lot, I mean, it doesn't matter how many times you die. It's not going to get in the way of your, it's not going to get in the way of your getting this goal. But, uh, you know, you need to keep your times three multiplier up a lot. What I have found is that other than the club, if you are... If you are kind of getting your butt kicked, but only when it's elite enemies, that's fine. So long as your times three multiplier is up in those bigger rooms with tougher, with not very tough fighters, you're you're in pretty good shape. But that's it, nine thousand in the sanctuary. We did it. Peace. Thanks y'all again. Push to a thousand subs so that I can maybe one day make a couple pennies and rub them together, and half of them will go to a charity we choose as a subscriber community. I really appreciate I've so enjoyed conversations in the comments recently um, on a lot of different things. Uh, but, you know, I really like this game. So it's been really great making videos with him for y'all. All right. Peace and take care.